Welcome back to Sizzle Chest Inn. All right, we are sizzling right now. It is very hot in this room, uh, just because it's summertime still, technically, in Arizona, and it's 104 degrees. <laughs> Anywho, I'm your host, Wax, in case y'all didn't know. Pretty sure I introduced myself maybe once out of all the videos that we have. Uh, JPad's not with me, he's doing his thing. This is my solo playthrough of Resident Evil 3 on the Inferno difficulty level. Uh, Jay's not really too big of a fan of the Resident Evil series. Uh, I can't remember why, uh, but just he's not. So I think he, he likes like the first game or something like that, but he doesn't like uh, some of the other ones. You know, like he does, he despises part five and six, even though I don't think he's ever played them. Um, and then I know he hasn't played part seven yet, so... But I know for a fact he doesn't like five and six. He does like four, or did. Um, but not to the extent that I did, because he owned the game, and I'm pretty sure he... I, I rem if I remember correctly, he gave me his copy. Ooh. All right. And some lucky shots in there, yo. Crap. Not so lucky. Not so lucky. It's your one tooth ass. Looking like the hills have eyes. That's what you get, homeboy. I ain't playing that shit. Alright. Explosive. Alright, did you hear that? That means I blew somebody or something up in here. More explosive. A. Alright, so here's the other piece. What are we going to do here? Another document. All right. They're Mega Man. Mega Man. Well, we know him as Mega Man. He's known as Rock Man in Japan. So there's the vaccine base. Get on up out of here and get this vaccine created so that we can get extracted. Out of the hot zone. I don't know if that's a thing, but. I don't know military lingo. So I never served. Oh, shucks. Oh, all of them going to bust out? Okay. Dude, that would suck, because that looks like... These guys over here look like they might be some type of tyrant. That would suck if they came out to play. Woo-wee! They get their tyrant from the first game? No, oh, thank you. A bunch of those things on your ass? Nope. Oh, another cool collectible I do have is I do have the uh, action figure for uh, Tyrant from the first Resident Evil game. Uh, he's never been removed from his box, but this, the box is kind of damaged. I, I bought it that way. It was like slightly damaged. Um, but I, it didn't cause any more damage to it than when I bought it. It's still as is. Oh yeah, there's a document right there too. Sorry folks, I'm slacking. But I mean, I do have some cool collectibles. Um, But I don't have a lot. I don't want people to get the uh, impression that I'm like a super nerd or something like that. Although there's nothing wrong with being a super nerd. Like, I just... I don't have the space or the want to spend the money on things that I just, just kind of take up space in my, my home, you know? That's just not me. I'm not that guy. 
I don't really care for a whole bunch of decorations on the walls and stuff. I'm not that guy. My wife used to be, but she's calmed down on that. After meeting me, she was just kind of like, all right, maybe I do need to cut it down a little bit. All right, folks, the way that Jill just cut through that tentacle, you never want to do that. <laughs> because she could have easily cut into her neck right there or her collarbone. She could have caused a lot of damage to herself and died. More tentacle porn. Nice. Come on, Jill, let's go. Let's get it. You can't have me. Sing uh, MC Hammers can't touch this. That's what you need to be saying. Or was it uh, In Vogue? I think it was. Old school song, I'm never gonna get it. I'm sure some of you would know the song if you heard it. <laughs> I think it was in vogue. Uh, anyway, if you guys ever wanna know what kind of music I'm into, uh, I listen to basically everything. I really don't discriminate too much. I'm not really too big of a fan of like the stuff that's popular now. Um, like a lot of the country music kind of sucks now. Like I don't like the pop country stuff. Um, I'm not really a huge country fan, uh, but I can listen to some of it, if that makes sense. Um, I like, I mainly listen to heavy metal and rock and roll. So I, it's, kind of weird because I grew up on soul music like Al Green, James Brown, you know, uh, Barry White, Luther Vandross, and then, oh, here's another document right there. And then um, I also listened to Aerosmith. What name is this place? I listened to Jimi Hendrix. I love Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Eric Clapton, you know, the old classics, classic rock. And then from there, I found Slayer, Nine Inch Nails. Nine Inch Nails not metal, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but that's when I started getting into that type of music, like you know, uh, Slayer, Pantera, um, Metallica. Even even though I was always a bigger Megadeth fan than Metallica, I still am. Um, doesn't mean I have to like any of the members, you know, I just, I do like the music. Um, like Lars, he still gets shit for that Napster thing. I just, I don't care. I just, seeing all the merchandise and how much of the selling out, quote unquote selling out, that Metallica has done compared to Megadeth, I, that really doesn't uh, affect my opinion on their music. I'm in this business. Um, if anything, it's just more of like an oversaturation, oh, like continuous play oh, of Metallica man. that kind of drove me away from them because, no, I mean, you, I hear it too much and I'm just kind of bored with it, you know? Um, I didn't care for their St. Anger album. It sucked. Uh, Metallica's St. Anger album kind of sucked. Um, and they did just recently did that orchestra one, another one. SM2 or whatever it's called. Um, I listened to some of it. It's okay. I didn't mind it. Actually, I preferred that album, the first one, over like any of their newer stuff that they did. And I could still listen to that that album. So. Yeah. Try and holler out a baller. Yeah. Jill! Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Here go that damn pistol again. Ooh, broke his jawbone. 
That was tight. I never noticed that before. He's going straight over there like that. <laughs> is no joke like even okay, I'll meet you up ahead. even when i handle acid in my chemistry lab because uh, i'm still i'm in college still you know trying to get that engineering degree um, even though i wear gloves i mean it's still you could still get that stuff on you so uh, acid's very depending on the acid that you're playing with or <laughs> playing with experimenting with it could eat through those gloves so uh, just be careful when you handle that stuff but yeah my instructor's like oh yeah you're safe around here like you know just don't be an ass about it uh, yeah I mean accidents happen I've seen people drop acid uh, not like the acid tabs but in the lab, the vaccine, drop their, their vials with acid. Uh, you could say it was carelessness, but a lot of the times their, the test tube would slip out of their, their little test tube holder. And then it ended up like bumping into one thing and falling all over the place, so. Luckily we hadn't had to evacuate a classroom yet and somebody had to like jump in that shower that thing that just shoots like 50 pounds of pressure of water on you that, <laughs> or whatever it's like 50 gallons of water comes out at one time uh, luckily it's nothing that bad so oh hey this is in the game right here yeah yeah so i'm probably gonna get stuck on this for the next like four days so i'm gonna spare you guys all of it so if if i if I keep on dying, what about you? I'm going to give like two, maybe three deaths. And then, you know, once I Look, take his ass down, you know, then, you know, the I'll show you guys the last bit of it. Just because I don't want to. I know that we're here along with for the for the ride together, but I don't want you guys to have to go through the same aggravation as me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you guys being pissed off with me or at me. For making the same mistakes. right and check that my ass can't handle It may not be, we'll see. Got 
damn it, now I'm going now. Did I get it? Oh my goodness. My heart can't take it. My heart cannot take it. Oh snap. Yes. Yeah, I did it. I freaking did it. I hope I did it. Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit! Alright, now I just can't screw up on the next part. I have to make sure that I shoot Nikolai. <laughs> Perfect. Because I remember on Nightmare, I actually screwed that up by... Good riddance. Uh, it took me forever to beat this dude. And then, I missed that shot on Nikolai over here. and. I had to redo this thing all over again. It sucked. All right. Well, hopefully this concludes this walk, this playthrough. I know I didn't get no S rank. I don't care as long as I was able to accomplish this for now. If I'm feeling froggy enough, one day I'll come come back to this game and get the S rank. Kind of scared. <laughs> I don't want to have to go back and redo that crap. Carlos, my boo. You're not going to stop. I got it. Promised you this, didn't I? No. no. Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, you ain't no. done much, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> All right, we got this. The missile has launched. On Carlos, get up. And that is my duty. So we can end this. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Oh, he just poked his eye out. Shoot him in the body. If it goes through him, then yes. Then at least it'll hit him in the body armor, so he'll be all right. If there's actually body armor there. I you can leave in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? I think for that guy, I would have just left him there to bleed out. I don't think I would have. There's a price to pay for everything, even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? Who are you working for? I'll tell you if you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool. Never find out the truth. Sure we will. I don't mind a little detective work. Oh, that's funny because she's a police. <laughs>
Too bad Nemesis ain't gonna be taking your ass out. Now, one thing I was never too clear on was was right. Mr. X the nemesis or like a form of his hiring? I can't remember. There it is. I guess I can just Google it and look it up. Find out what was what. I don't think it was. say else about this game other than it was a pain in the ass. So long, Percy. Took a lot longer than I wanted it to. <sighs> and I needed I anger management while going through the final boss. Us. For sure. All this death wasn't so it cost me about a thousand dollars worth of therapy. It was great. Um, but I don't know. I guess I feel accomplished. <laughs> I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Alright. Alright, I just googled it. Nemesis and Mr. X are two different entities. So, Mr. X is more of like Tyrant. Nemesis is something completely different. So, there it is folks. Completed this biatch on Nightmare or Inferno. <laughs> oh man, I think I saved it like 20 times. I died 58. Oh, I guess not. Dominator, cool. You got a B rank, not too bad. First time through. Total play time is way up there, so. Let's see what it is. I think I could get the S rank, but I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Not yet. Anywho, tune in next time. We'll play a completely different game. I don't know what yet. Maybe more Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know. Uh, actually, that's gonna be that's a video that's playing in conjunction with it. Never mind. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see what, what game I end up playing next. Tune in again. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. 